right. Half of the people who fucked off. Right. It's that time again where we get to our prog God Award. A word not badly to band lightly in this industry. Dare to glimpse models and then look away for fear you may be dazzled by the sheer brightness. Um, and to present this award, um, it's the, I, well, when I was about 13, someone gave me some records and he played on them and I thought, fuck me, that's brilliant. I don't want to embarrass him. Um, a, 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 a proper personal hero of mine. Please welcome to the stage, it's Bill Bruford for Christ's sake! Fifty years old, 
since Yes first formed. Um, what now is happening in terms of Yes? Is, is it a surprise that Yes is still going? It's a kind of evolutionary thing, you know. I mean, yes, just kept going and going and, and taking short breaks, maybe a couple of years, and then the lineup might change and we'd get back together, and then we, you know, this this person would leave, and you know, it's just been a completely hodgepodge story. We come from that era where we uh, we started with maybe Floyd and Genesis and ELP. And there's a wealth of bands from the 70s that, that really cared about their, their music. And I saw that picture you were showing us uh, of Tony Kay and, and Bill Bruford in the early lineup. So there's been a lot of lineups, but they, they've all had the same purpose to, to make great music.
person that it was written for is a little boy called Dylan somewhere. And this tune came about me. He was just about one day old. Thousand 
2018 Frog Awards. Uh, we do it again tomorrow night. Uh, we do the 2018 Frog Awards again. Um, all over again from the start. Um, it's been my absolute pleasure to be in this room of uh, fans, legends, erstwhile legends, wannabe legends, um, people in awful fucking jackets, Jerry. And, uh, um, seriously, we can get a tailor. And, uh, <laughs> can go tomorrow and uh, it's been my pleasure to, to uh, host this, a real privilege, I, I, there is, I said this earlier about um, Steve Hackett coming on stage, there, if I were able to time machine, this is why time machines shouldn't be invented, if I were to time machine back to my 12 year old self and tell him about the people I've met this evening, he'd have exploded in, uh, you'd given up ranking. So, um, uh, it was so an joy, and it's been my joy, my pleasure. Thanks to Jerry for um, hiring me. And a great. Uh,